today we are going to create a google site or website uh, for our uh, webinar so that the participant can find more about our webinar from this website uh, so this uh, website creation is free uh, and it can be done by google sites uh, this step is uh, actually optional if you don't want to create a website it's fine uh, i am creating this website because all the information is quite impossible to give in a single flyer or poster so extra information uh, can always be found uh, in this google website a participant can get their uh, registration link from this site or even e-certificate link uh, from this website so first uh, uh, you need to open your chrome browser and uh, you have to uh, log in by your uh, google id and from these nine dots you can find google sites or you can simply uh, type in google search engine as google sites so you will be able to get to sites.google.com so now there is uh, no google site created in this uh, page uh, so let me create a site by clicking this colorful plus button here and uh, this site page will be opened uh, so first you can choose a theme uh, for your website uh, from here uh, so we can choose any theme let me choose uh, Aristotle theme maybe okay I can change the background uh, of my uh, site uh, select image either you can search an image from Google or there are gallery and I can choose any image from this gallery itself uh, so let me choose a image of some books maybe now here goes your title okay I already have everything in a single word file uh, so this is the title of my webinar and let me copy this and I am going to paste it here okay now uh, the font size is very small so select this and you can choose what type of font do you want title or heading or subheading let's ch uh, choose uh, heading because title will be too large for this amount of writing so let it make heading now the problem with google site is that the options here are very limited because it is free to use uh, it is not a premium or paid version so uh, there will be limited option here but it will be enough for our uh, uh, educational purpose um, oh, it will be so too much okay done you can make it bold or italic or can be uh, changes orientation etc etc okay after that uh, i uh, want to put some information uh, about the organizing uh, committee uh, and of course the date and time okay so let's copy this and i can put this date and time in the title itself so let's do that okay make it bold and make it subheading okay now that's looking good and first uh, maybe uh, so here is the theme here is the insert button uh, i don't need page option because this is for creating a complex website so you have multiple pages but as this is a uh, website for a webinar i am going to make it only a single page website so i am avoiding this page button so in insert i can insert text box first i am going to put the information about the organizing committee this whole thing can be pasted here okay now i can make this as large uh, heading or subheading okay make it as a heading okay and also i can uh, get a background theme mm, emphasis maybe i can delete this text box from this delete button or i can add another text box from here uh, i can double click in the uh, blank pages so 
there are very few shortcuts directly available in the page itself now i want to put a, a button uh, that will uh, give the link for registration okay uh, so that can be done uh, from a button option which is below this insert tab button okay so let me give button button names register yourself then what will be the link for this registration i have kept the link in this text uh, this link will open up a google form so just let me put it in this link and insert so you see there is a register button and i can make it big or small or i can change the color whatever i like maybe an image something like this okay let's see what happens now upon clicking this button uh, the uh, participants or those people who want to register uh, they will go directly to the google registration form page okay uh, so after that i want to put another uh, tab which will provide the participants with uh, program schedule i have already prepared a program schedule so this all process are optional if you want you uh, just keep this program schedule part and uh, but if you want to like me uh, then you have to upload this program schedule in your google drive first so let me choose my account and here i am going to my google drive and i can upload the program schedule here okay now the upload process is done so you can see that the program schedule is uploaded in my google drive and i can get a shareable link from here and this link uh, will be embedded into the button that i will create okay then uh, restricted only people added can open with this link no this should be open anyone with the link should be able to download this file okay copy link and viewer uh, commenter or editor viewer okay never make them editor so anybody can edit your file done okay now i am adding another button here yeah. name program schedule okay and i am pasting the link here insert so this is my program schedule button done i can have another picture here in the background let me choose another picture so register yourself and program schedule now as a final touch i want to give everybody a brief introduction a brief introduction about the resource person so i would like to write here our distinguished guest or our resource person so that can be done by inserting a text box so our resource persons make it a heading like so now here i would like to display uh, this resource person's picture with their introduction okay so this can be done if i if i upload their pictures by this image button then the pictures will be in still format they will not move so there is an option in google site image carousel i can add pictures here that will be carousel dot movable uh, pictures so let me upload these three images now i want to uh, add their description so let's add some description here let's see and caption i am 
caption okay so let's see what these two different types of images do now how my website is looking uh, i can always see in this view tab preview tab so let's see if you open this in computer or in laptop or in mobile you can preview uh, how this website will look in a mobile or tab or laptop uh, or computer let me see if it's okay with computer so here are the cursor image and i can okay here is the details okay i can close my preview so i am almost done let me put this cursor in between somewhere here so now we are done with our website uh, so i am ready to publish this uh, and one more thing you have to write a, a website address uh, or your site name that will be helpful so let me write it um, like fcc edu okay uh, i can also add a logo of my college okay let me upload a logo now this is done see my college logo with my website name um, fcc edu for kitchat college education uh, it is a temporary site so i am not putting um, uh, full name of my uh, department so okay now publish this so you see there is no need to save or anything it is already saved uh, it is the beauty of google tools they automatically save your uh, every version of your work uh, so you need not to bother about that so i am publishing as your site name fcc edu okay and this is the address for my website and i can put this in my flyer fine so i am going to now publish this so now if any of the participant or any people who want to uh, register for this webinar or uh, uh, want to get a program schedule or any details about the webinar they can visit uh, this website by pasting the link in their browser and uh, they will get a website like this and here they can click register yourself button this will lead to the google form that we have created earlier for registration for purpose they can also have a program schedule i have uploaded a pdf file so they will get a pdf file if i have uploaded an jpg or png image file then they would have gotten a um image file so that's up to you whatever file you want to upload so this and they can uh, scroll the images and uh, they can find out uh, details of our resource persons um so this step is optional for any webinar if you don't want to make a website then don't make it i mean uh, a making a simple flyer or webinar poster will be enough uh, so in our next video i will show you how to create a flyer or a poster without using any photoshop or page maker uh, by simply using google slides or in uh, ms powerpoint uh, so stay tuned for our next video thank you for watching